Hello and welcome back to Legacy Networking Live. We are on day two of our calendar and we're going to be going through how to use Christmas cards in your networking strategy. Um, I have to admit I wasn't really on board with Christmas cards a few years ago. I think it was coming to the UK that really got me into the spirit, especially my mother-in-law. She has a list of people that she sends cards to and she includes a full length message inside of each and every one of them. And I just think that's uh, something that I never would have done back home, but I think it's a really cool tradition to do here. So I'm gonna talk today about three tips of how to use these cards, these little Christmas cards um, that seem really insignificant to make a big impact on your networking strategy. Okay, so the first tip that I have is to choose your Christmas card wisely. Um, the Christmas card that you choose can really say a lot about you, and I know it probably sounds arbitrary, but actually, if you get a Christmas card um, that's maybe overly religious, you might have a, a different thought process about the person who sent it than, you know, maybe someone who's got their their family photo on the front, for example. So your Christmas card says a lot about you. And if you want to be sending it as a part of your networking strategy, then you kind of have to think about your personal brand and, and what you're trying to say when you've got a Christmas card. I like to have fun Christmas cards that are sort of open to lots of different uh, people so that you know they can they can go to lots of different people so i've got santa claus here um you know you have have little characters and teddy bears on this one and then you've got your famous snowman for example um these are just really sort of approachable um really widely um distributable type christmas cards um and they basically have a real that sort of fun connotation to them because that's what i'm trying to go for when i'm uh, networking with people but you should really think about what you want to say with your christmas cards and choose the ones that speak the most to your personal brand Tip number two for using your Christmas cards for networking is what do you put on the inside? But I think a lot of times people sort of default to just Merry Christmas or they kind of just have a real generic message, you know, from so and so and so. Um, I think if you're going to be sending a Christmas card for a specific reason, there should be effort put into the message inside. I think you should give a quick update about maybe some of the main achievements in your year, express some interest in, you know, maybe catching up with the person or meeting up in the new year with the person that you're sending it to, um, and just maybe keep it short and sweet, obviously, depending on the relationship you have with that person. Like I said, my mother-in-law, she'll go on, you know, forever and ever, but these are people she's been sending cards to for decades. So if you have a good relationship with them, really fill them in on what you've done this year. Put your accomplishments in there. Um, but if maybe there's not so much of a relationship, um, still make sure that you add a few bits and pieces, um, but keep it short and sweet. I wouldn't just write Merry Christmas or else there's not really a lot of point in sending the card. So that's my second tip. This is our third and final tip for sending Christmas cards as part of your networking strategy. And this one is a little bit more to do with you than it is to do with the person you're sending it to because it's, it's about getting the Christmas cards reciprocated. So my tip here is to make sure that you send the Christmas cards with enough time to allow that person to send you one back because you foster the connection by being able to participate in, in this together. And it's important as well to make sure that you put a return address in the card or make sure that you've definitely got it written clearly on the back of the envelope so that they know where to send it back. Um, and, you know, for me, I like to start, you know, towards the end of November. So get them all written, get them all stamped and posted by the first week of December. And this again, is just to make sure they have time to send it back. 
and everybody loves receiving things in the mail so there's a feel good factor there and you have the ability to feel like you guys are participating in a connection where you exchange cards over Christmas. So that's my third and final tip for using Christmas cards in your networking strategy. We're going to have 25 days of legacy networking tips in our advent calendar video series. So let me know that you're out there and leave any comments about your Christmas card strategy. And don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be notified when the next video comes out. Thanks. Bye.